best estimates are that there are about three and a half million pieces of furniture which are discarded from offices every year. So it's about 180,000 tonnes, so it's quite a sizeable amount. We think that there's only about 14% of it which is reused, that 86% of it goes to landfill, and that only 0.2% is recycled to recover all the materials that are in it. In some cases it's about how people dispose of products. They have no use for it, so there is a mentality with people that if I don't want it, no one wants it. At PwC we have about 19,000 people and they all work out of offices. There's about 330 tonnes of waste generated each year as we refresh and renew the furniture. If you think about what furniture is made of, it's either going to be wood or plastic or metal. So these are all raw materials which we want to keep in circulation in the economy for as long as possible. We thought there must be a better way to handle that than just to stick it in a landfill. Landfill of waste is an old way of doing it. As the reuse sector, we are already extend the life of products and that is really what the circular economy is looking at. It is about a cultural or behavioural change. It's about thinking, well, once I've had use of it, could it be used elsewhere? Does it have value? Reuse seemed to be the right way because then you're not stripping it down, you're, you're, you're giving it to somebody else. And some of the things could last another 10 years. And so we started working a lot more with charities. So for example, when we refurbished and renovated the Southampton office, we donated furniture from there to the Meningitis Research Foundation. Meningitis Research Foundation has been in existence for over 26 years. We focus primarily on funding research. We also provide a lot of support to people who've been unfortunate enough to have an experience of the disease. The organisation was based about 12 miles outside Bristol until late last year and we feel we wanted to step up a gear and raise our profile. To do that we needed to move into the centre of Bristol. By chance, I was introduced to Steve Sliney at Collect Eco. He said that he was working with PwC down in Southampton and that they had a lot of desks in really good condition that they'd be willing to donate. Collect Eco's role is to facilitate reuse and we work with organisations which want to do the right thing with their unwanted furniture, equipment and materials, whether they're relocating premises, whether they're refurbishing premises or whether they're just simply having a clear out. You can see the commercial stuff that comes in there, anything up from a filing cabinet, the desks, pedestals, everything you might get from a normal office. Rather than that stuff going off to be recycled or to landfill, we want to pass it on to organisations that need it. Now these lockers here are from PwC in Southampton, so it's an example of how we are able to look after stuff until we find a home for it. Of course, sometimes our furniture needs to be adapted before it can be reused. When I told Steve the desks were going to be too long, he introduced me to the factory, which is a Bristol-based organisation, and they were able to cut the desks down. We're part of Null West Media Centre, which is a local charity based in Bristol, a social enterprise which has digital manufacturing capability as well as traditional woodworking facilities. We're part of the circular economy in Bristol, so where we fit in the chain is that we are involved in remanufacturing. We knew of the factory and we'd seen the quality of their work in one of the local business parks. It was really about us using those pieces of the material to upcycle or remanufacture to fit Mike's needs. High-end design can still be linked to reuse and you can actually give someone a very nice product. There's no way I could have gone and bought desks uh, of this quality. I know these desks will last us for years and years and years. It's been worth thousands and thousands to us, really. The whole purpose of this centre is not only to work as a business, but to train and, and develop local people. Not only carpentry, but some real employability skills and obviously going right the way back to PwC, donating the furniture. The Meningitis Research Foundation work was a great example of how that work actually creates a great social impact. It really hasn't been that difficult for us to set up. We donate 95% and the rest of it is dismantled and the parts are recovered and recycled. So nothing is going to landfill. And also, it saves money because waste costs we don't have to pay the costs associated with landfill. So we estimate there's about an 80% saving in terms of cost, and that easily covers the cost of taking it to wherever it's going to be used next. What our sector has done in the last decade or so is changed itself to meet the corporate need, 
but also help the corporate meet the social need. So really it's about how the commercial and corporate sector can work with us because we can't do it alone. People have responded well when they know that the furniture is being reused. I'm immensely proud of what we achieved. 